Tonight has been so fortunate to have so many sports role models for our kids. Tonight we take a look at three local basketball giants in our community. Two players, one just happens to be a former Spur and a coach, and how they're impacting the lives of some of our middle school students. They are three San Antonio basketball icons. Former Spurs guard Johnny Moore, whose double zero hangs from the AT&T center rafters. Former UTSA head basketball coach Tim Carter, who led the Roadrunners to two NCAA appearances. And former NBA and college star Neville Shedd, a member of the Texas Western Miners team that was the first to start five African Americans and win the NCAA tournament back in 1966. With that fusion, it comes together. All three now shaping the future of young middle schoolers. You know, I know I probably can't uh, touch each and every kid, but for the ones that I touch, you know, I hope to make a difference for them. I'm in the classroom and I absolutely love it. It was something that was very exciting to me because this was that giving back time for me. Last year, under the influence of Principal Carolyn Ross, all three were working in the classroom at Mesker Middle School in the Judson ISD. But since, Carter has moved over to Woodlake Hills. That was a fantastic four. What happened to one of your partners? After Shedd retired from working at UTSA for two and a half decades, he decided to give back by becoming a co-teacher. That's what I expectations are to take our kids to another level. Sometimes that can be a little overwhelming for a middle schooler looking up at a six foot eight inch tall teacher. So sometimes I have to bend down because you know being so tall it is a form of intimidation. So we can get down and making them feel comfortable. That's the fun thing about seeing the smiles you know. And down the hall from Shed, Johnny Moore assisting in a science class. It's a challenging situation though just to really try to establish the foundation that I know that these kids are going to need in order to be successful. At Woodlake Hills, Carter is a health teacher, back in the classroom for the first time since he was a coach at a high school in Kansas 30 years ago. You can really, really make an impression on a middle school kid uh, when it comes to coaching, when it comes to teaching. You may be able to take the coach and player out of the gym, but not for long. Carter was asked to coach the Woodlake Hills eighth grade boys. Sure, I'll do it. And at the same time, Moore leading the eighth graders at neighborhood rival Metzger. <laughs> yes, it, 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 that's one of the toughest things that I've done. For both coaches, coaching at such a different level is one of the main challenges. So just to get them to understand the nature of the game. The little things that you assume that they know and can do, that can get frustrating. And after all those games, Carter paced the sidelines. Even at this level, he gets a little nervous. I'll get a little jittery on game day. I'm a little uncomfortable on game day because you want the kids to do well. You want to do well. Now, both coaches are used to the pressure of winning. That's one difference at this level. Pressure is not the same because it's not all about winning. No, I want to win all the time. But at this level, that's not the most important thing is how they prepare themselves to win. And, and the fact that they give a 100% effort. The thing I try to get, in, get, get instilled in them is this. Success is just doing your absolute best. That's the key. Great story.